Welcome to the borax experiment. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a test using a solution of one part borax to 10 parts water to see if I can enhance engraving on some bamboo cutting boards and darken up the engraving. So if you would, stick around and let's see how this one turns out. We'll be right back. Welcome back. So what is this borax solution that I'm referring to? It's a mixture of one part borax powder and 10 parts of very hot water. So what you want is you want that water as hot as you can get it and then that helps dissolve the powder real quick. Uh, it doesn't have to be boiling hot but you want it as hot as you can get it. So then you take the solution and you can, in my case, I poured it in a squirt bottle and I just squirted it all over the board and got it real wet. And then I take a foam brush and I spread that solution out across the top of the board and get it evenly spread out. And then uh, the next thing I do is then I take a paper towel and I just blot up the excess solution that's sitting on top of the board. Now you can just take a foam brush and dip into uh, a little bucket of that solution and just paint it on there like you're doing paint and then do the same thing, wipe up the, uh, the little excess and just kind of blot it up. Uh, but I chose to use a little squirt bottle. So um, anyway, uh, if you'll stick around, you'll see how that solution works when we do the engraving with it. We'll be right back. Welcome back. What you're looking at is the letter B that I'm going to laser engrave into that cutting board and this is my settings i'm going to have a 10 inch per second speed 100 percent power on the maximum and 25 percent power on the minimum and then i'm going to be running it at 200 lines per inch so it's going to be fairly tight engraving and um, so i'm going to swing the camera around and we're going to uh, try to film this as best we can because uh, I cannot film with my lid open, it's just not safe. So I'll have to film through the top of the uh, the uh, lid, and we'll see what we can see. But we'll be right back. All right, I already have the file uploaded from the computer to the laser uh, motherboard, and I've turned on the red diode. I have a X marks the spot there in the center of that board. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run a frame to make sure that the letter is going to engrave where we want it to on the board. So I like that location real well. So we're going to go ahead and close the lid. We're going to turn off the red diode and we're just going to go ahead and press start. So uh, here we go. Enjoy the music. That took 14 minutes and 20 seconds to engrave. So when I come back, we'll have it out of the block, out of the machine, and we will be uh, cleaning it up. We'll be right back. All right, I went back and re-ran it a second time in a little bit higher resolution uh, because I had some lines that I wanted to try to get removed in the center of the board. And it did a, a pretty good job of getting rid of everything back. So what I did was, like I said, I ran the first time at uh, 
150 uh, lines per inch and then I went back and I ran it back at 300 lines per inch so now I'm just going to take vinegar and just going to wipe the lightly wipe the surface down and that's going to help me get the charring off and make it a little bit easier to clean things up so we soak it a little bit more <clears throat> And then we'll come back with uh, 400 grit sandpaper and I will lightly hand sand it um, to help get the charring off the uh, surface of the board. So uh, it'll look good when it's all done. And then after I get through with the uh, removing of the charring and everything and the sanding, then I will do a... Uh, coat of uh, food grade mineral oil or cutting board uh, conditioner basically is what it is uh, to treat the board so uh, let me go ahead and on my sanding pad here I've got 400 grit sandpaper this is a cloth style 400 grit so I'm just going to just lightly sand it not going real hard basically just enough downward force on the sanding block to keep it under control. Okay. Let's change the circle. Yeah. We're going to wipe it down one more time and uh, let it dry. And then we'll take a look at it when we get through see if we need to sand it a little bit more. So one more wiping down. Yeah. We're going to let that dry. So I'll be right back. Alright. There is the finished board. All I need to do now is just put the uh, food grade mineral oil on it and kind of seal it. Uh, but it cleaned up real well. I did hand sand it with some uh, 400 grit. And it turned out real well. So I thank y'all for following along. This is a real quick one. And uh, I'll be back when I start a new uh, project here real soon. So until then, hug all your family and friends. Let them know you love them. And God bless.